Hey, you're looking good today. This is Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom, and here's what's happening. Where were you 16 years ago? Well, as you are undoubtedly aware, this is the 16th anniversary of 9-11, September 11, 2001, when America woke up and uh, realize that we were under attack, something we thought would never happen. We have a special section for you in today's printed edition of the Brazil Times, and we will have uh, that uh, special section in uh, our website as well later today. Now, at 9 o'clock this morning, the city of Brazil is celebrating, or I should say memorializing, 9-11, not celebrating by any means, but memorializing 9-11 at Forest Park at the uh, Cow Palace. There's going to be a special program with music and speakers, and uh, that starts at 9 o'clock this morning in Forest Park at uh, the uh, Pavilion. In today's edition of the Brazil Times, uh, two concerned citizens helped lead to the arrest of a Vigo County man on felony charges after an altercation with police. We need the public to report more incidents like this, said Clay City Police Chief Terry Skaggs, who responded to the report of a man tweaking out in a truck at the Dollar General parking lot in Clay City on Friday morning. That person had a medical background, was able to recognize the signal and symptoms, and reported the potentially dangerous situation. The man was identified, that is, the man uh, who was uh, acting strange was identified as Curtis A. Wilson, age 29, of Terre Haute. Also, over the weekend on Saturday, the uh, Fishing Fun Day took place out at Craig Park, as it has for many years now, and we have a report about that. Uh, I, lo I love this quote from Jack Elder. Jack has... Uh, uh, provided the bait, and uh, this year he provided some poles for uh, the children to use who didn't have fishing poles, and he just said, I like to see kids fish, he said. So that's a, that's a wonderful thing. Hey, we're glad to see Victoria Hill here today, and uh, we're glad to see all you folks who are joining us live or by Memorex, by recorded video today. Also, on uh, Saturday, there was the uh, Nature Day at uh, the fairgrounds, at the uh, Clay County 4-H fairgrounds, and we have a couple pictures of uh, young people who participated in that. All kinds, of, uh, all kinds of things going on there this weekend. It was very, very interesting. Jeff Pell said it had been about five years ago that uh, they started uh, the Nature Day out there at the fairgrounds and seemed like it was very well attended this year. Guys Who Give are offering reduced cost memberships. Guys Who Give Clay County has announced a reduced cost membership to entice men 40 and under to get interested in philanthropy. The group, coordinated by the Clay County Community Foundation, was formed in 2016. Uh, for the reduced cost membership, the member must be 40 years of age or younger and commit to donating a total of $250 per year of membership. The first $50 is used to support an endowment fund within the Clay County Community Foundation. And so that's, uh, that's pretty cool that's going on. And we have a lot more for you in today's edition. If you missed Saturday's edition of uh, the Brazil Times, we have a neat story about uh, the Red Devils, class of 1947. They got together recently and celebrated their 70th anniversary. And uh, that was a neat thing. There was only about eight members that showed up for that with their spouses. Many of them had spouses with them. But uh, nevertheless, uh, they have a lot a lot to offer our generation. Chris Pruitt's, or Chris Pestoff's here. Hi, Chris. Glad to see you. Bob Sonnenfeld and Ann Bradshaw. Glad to see you folks this morning, too. And let's see. Also, as we told you, the uh, city is planning a 9-1-1, memorial program. That's going to be held uh, this morning at 9 a.m. at uh, Forest Park. Uh, and the Clay County Commissioners are holding a special meeting Wednesday at 10 a.m. in the Commissioner's Courtroom in the Courthouse. 
The purpose of the meeting is to present a grant to the Rain Committee. The committee has been working on a replacement for the Orange Building in Clay City. Hey, there's Evelyn Brown. Glad to see you today, Evelyn. Mike Braun, the Indiana State House of Representatives District 63 representative, will be the guest speaker at the 7 p.m. September 18 Clay County Republican Club meeting that's held at uh, Kennedy Crossing Bingo Parlor, and the public is invited to attend. Now remember, if I go too fast and you don't catch something, you can always back up your video after it's uh, posted, and you can catch all that information again. Also, quite a meeting for Clay City Town Council this month. Clay City is in, quote, dire need after wastewater pumps failed a week ago Sunday night, said the town board president, Donella Baumgartner. And uh, you can read about that. In another matter, the town board's attorney has been told to expect Clay City to be sued by Clay Community Schools for damages arising from placement of the water main. And, of course, uh, Clay City is just now starting to get out from under their problems with uh, their clean water, and it looks like they're going to have to spend at least $18,000 on their uh, wastewater system. So... We'll just have to keep that in mind and follow that and let you know what's going on. Please keep uh, those folks in Florida and Georgia in your prayers as uh, Hurricane Irma travels north today. Uh, they're saying that uh, they, being the uh, people on TV, are saying that they expect uh, Irma to be downgraded to a tropical storm at some point today. So that would be good news. But uh, will we receive any rain out of it? Possibly. Last I saw, about a 50% chance that uh, Irma would make its way into Indiana. Well, that's all we have. Uh, we'll see you out at the fairground, or at, the, at Forest Park, I should say, uh, coming up at 9 o'clock. You have a great day.